Some people will say these kids today are soft because they don't want to be beaten. They don't want to be subjected to violence. They want someone to talk to them, to treat them with dignity and respect. That's, that's soft. There's this idea that if you, you handle your kids with compassion and empathy and care, then you're being white, putting them at risk for the world, not going to be prepared to be out there fighting when it's really all these people who are beating their kids that are creating a world that's so harsh and lacking empathy and such. I'm your professor, I will test you in the worst way Don't bring a scan, trying to pop quizzes all day Cause of our chemistry, we do biology Okay, 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 what's happening fam? LAR moving, still moving? Subscribe and die trying, you see the thumbnail, hit my dog on hand Um I get what the woman was talking about as far as parenting But, and I also get why they want the kids to quote unquote be softer in a sense or more emotional, be able to communicate. But the truth is, making these kids basically operate like females through their feelings and, and talking everything out um, doesn't work. And, and it doesn't work well. And when people say, yo, you know, these people want their kids to be hard. They're going to beat them and brutalize them and abuse them. It's like, no, you're going to teach them about consequences. And that's the issue that I have with people who do this type of stuff or say this type of stuff sometimes because you can't, if you keep talking, if you, if you teach a child that they can talk through anything, they're going to talk through doing the wrong thing. You know, this is why you get the entitlement you do in society where you have people who you know, are um, backstabbers, liars, manipulators, and they really op operate and think that, you know, only consequence is a conversation. You know, let's talk about it. Let's talk it out. Well, well, you know, I lied on you, but that's okay. You know, I did it because I had a reason to get over and get ahead, and I got over and I got ahead, but we can talk about it. There should be, you should Though you're upset, you could just talk through it. I got what I wanted by doing something very dastardly, and you got screwed, but it's okay. We'll talk it out. It's like, no. No. You know, that's, that's a problem. And, and, and at the same time, um, it pushes the, 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 the concept of procrastinating. Because if you want to, you can, oh, like, people need you things to be done. And what you don't want and don't need in society is a, is a group of people in society who don't do their job because they're talking. They don't do their job efficiently because they're talking. They don't do their job well because they're talking. They don't do their job at all because they're talking. And somebody else is sitting here at the mercy of their conversation and, and, and they can't get anything done in the world. And it's like, this is where we're at. And even parents and people in society who believe, you know, we're not getting, we're, we're, get, we're not necessarily getting softer, we're just getting more evolved. And it's like, no, we're not actually getting more evolved, we're actually becoming, we're regressing. We're becoming exceedingly lazy. And what you're getting is people being upset that they have to cater to lazy people. You're getting a, a, a backlash of like, yo, man, hurry up. It's kind of like, you know, they used to say, you know, we're getting into a microwave society. And I would say the soft parenting right now has created an environment where if America was, let's say, a fast food restaurant, it, it, you wouldn't get anything in a fast manner. Like if you went to, you know, uh, I'm in Texas, so Whataburger, you know, um, California, in and out you know, with the titles in and out get in and you get out, you know, McDonald's, you know, Chick-fil-A, any of that stuff, and the people behind the counter, like, they take your money and they go, well, let's just talk about what's going on today. Uh, it seems like you're just having a bad one, you're, 
in a mood and you, you know, maybe you're going to get your food, but you should take your time and relax. We're going to cook it for you. We're going to make it. And, you know, it's fast food, but since, you, since we don't like all of this pressure of being fast, I'm just going to talk you through being upset that it takes 30 minutes to make these nuggets and fries and drink. And we're not going to compensate you for your time. And we're going to talk through that. Yeah. Don't be so upset. Why are you leaving? You can't get your money back, though. No refund policies look on the wall. So you might as well just sit here and talk to us. That's not going to end well. But that's how society is at this point. So we have a, 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 a really, really bad issue. And the worst part of this is, we've already seen this before. You see, a lot of y'all don't want to take this into consideration, but a lot of the issues we, you've seen with a, even um, with, with shows, not necessarily talk shows, but family shows or, or talk type shows or reality shows, you've seen kids taking care of parents and, and grandparents who were just irresponsible as adults being parents and grandparents, right? More so parents, but not grandparents. But um, and, they, and they want to talk it out and talk it out and talk it out. And now the kids are burdened with taking care of the parents who didn't take care of the kids when they were kids. And the parents are just walking around old and aloof like, oh, well, what happened? I don't remember that happening. Let's talk about it. Let's talk through this. You don't realize what was going on back then. And it's like, no, you lying. You lying. And so what, you, what you're going to see is in the future is a bunch of soft kids toss their soft parents to the side when their soft parents need them the most. And they're going to talk them through it. And those parents will be like, who taught you to do this? You did. Because part of being soft and part of communicating is not actually um, having a standard. Not actually being able to hold a standard. Not actually being able to have integrity because you can talk through not having integrity. You can talk through not having dignity. You can talk through lying. You can talk through stealing. You can talk through being dishonest. You can talk through, you know, scamming. You can talk through, you know, manipulating. And it's like, as much as people say, you know, these people are abusive and they beat their kids and whip their kids and that's bad. And it's like, well, what we don't talk about is basically it comes off that the coddle kids have kids and they coddle and the coddle kids are coddling their kids without saying that guess what? The family was taking care of you when they were coddling you. So now when it's your turn to take care of your kid that you're coddling, you still want the family to help take care of that kid. So you want them to coddle you while you're parenting. You want to coddle, they coddled you when you was a child, and they, they got to coddle you as an adult, and they got to coddle your kid because you're the go-between. And then the world's got to deal with that. And, and, and that becomes a problem because now, you know, you're looking for a community and family to come together. But truth be told, when you have that in a family dynamic, you have a bunch, you have soft people. It, it, the, the soft people um, try to work the, the quote-unquote hard, hard-nosed people to death with no, with no regret, no remorse. It's like, oh, uh, you're just so mean and abusive. I don't know why you, you, you just get up and you don't do nothing. You get up and go to work like 12, 16 hours in a day. And you come back all upset. We just chilling in the AC that you paying for, in the house that you paying for. We driving the car that you paid for, and we didn't put no gas in it, but uh, what is your problem? We need to get rid of you. That's what, what basically happened. So a lot of times, people do look mean because they're dealing with degenerate, lazy ingrates who can talk. And there comes a point where the talk is over. So tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm gonna take you.